I'm at the house at 10232 Villa del Lago. This is in the Mesa Creek subdivision. I'm gonna give you a 360 of the neighborhood. This house was built in 2009. This subdivision has community pools, playground, basketball court, picnic, and barbecue area. Give you a view here of the neighborhood. I'm gonna go take a look inside. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath. Square footage is roughly 2,350 square feet. It also has a office or study downstairs. A tile entry. Here we have a study. We got the um, He's got a door, double doors here, entrance to the uh, study. There's a second door. Ceiling fans throughout the house. So this is a good area for your office. Also there's a closet there, so in case you want to use it as a uh, optional bedroom, uh, you can do that. We have nice laminate floors throughout the dining and living room. Got a half bath here. Here we have the formal dining room. And living room space. Nice open area. Going to the kitchen. We have a nice kitchen here. If you notice here, we have a breakfast bar. You can put some stools here. We have an eating area in the kitchen, so you can put a smaller table there if you'd like to eat uh, normal day to day. Dual sinks, stove, and a built in microwave. Also, the fridge here stays with the house. Got a ice maker and a water dispenser. Here we have a pantry. Lots of shelving here. And then off the side here we have utility room, which um, leads to the garage. A two car garage with garage door opener and also has a water softener. And outside now we got uh, doors here going to the covered patio. Good size yard. Covered patio is perfect for barbecues. The trampoline will not be staying with the property. The storage shed does stay with the property. Nice sitting area there. We're gonna head inside. Okay, we're gonna head upstairs. We got all the bedrooms upstairs, including a game room. This is a game room, a large, nice area here. Again, ceiling fan. At the top of the stairs, we have the master's. The master's bedroom is split off from the other three bedrooms, so you have additional privacy. Ceiling fan again, nice uh, higher ceilings. And this one also has dual walk-in closets. There's one and as we head over here we've got closet number two. Okay, 
give you another view here from the, from the corner here. So you definitely have room for a uh, king size bed would be no problem here. You'd also have a lot of room for additional uh, dresser drawers or nightstands on each side of the bed. Here we have the bathroom. We have the separate uh, shower and garden tub. See that here? Deep, big, deep uh, tub. We have the dual vanities. And we have the commode. Okay. Now we're gonna head over to the other bedrooms. See, we have the other bedrooms are separated by the uh, game room here. Each of the bedrooms is a good size, um, either average size bedroom or a little larger than average. Here we have the hall bathroom, single sink, uh, commode, and the tub and shower. Here we have bedroom number two. show you um, these bedrooms also have walk-in closets okay that's bedroom number two we're gonna head over to bedroom number three they all have a similar uh, walk-in closet ceiling fan Nice neutral colors throughout the house. And this would be bedroom number four. Now bedroom number four is I'd say roughly 12 feet by 11 feet, which is pretty standard size bedroom. But also you see here this little sitting area here. Um, or you could put toys here. So this area here is about another 30 square feet on top of the, uh, the normal size bedroom here. Again, ceiling fans. And um, again, a good size closet space. So that's the house. It's a four bedroom, two and a half bath with a large game room upstairs, a nice study downstairs. Um, good area, a lot of community amenities this this uh, house is close to 90 highway 90 Lackland area 1604 and 410 also close by if you'd like more information about this home you can give me a call my name is Mark Fee my phone number is 210-618-9161 or you can call the office at 210-681-8080 with Liberty Management thank you